Got this guy watching my ass. Is that, is that door always open? Not always open. Let's check this room. Well, this first. must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. <laughs> True. This food on these tables is cold and partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled uh, mid uh, mid meal. It's still recently toaster repair. All right. Oops. Do I really want a toaster repair that? What if toaster repair is the shit and I just don't know about it? Something tells me I should. Mm, don't. Don't. There are people in there. Let's go into here real quick. See what the hell's going on. Please, don't shoot. Oh. A woman is gone, her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled uh, vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the rangers. Who are I'm you? Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. If we have squatters there, it'll be hard to keep discipline. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. She lets a fearful look at Quone, but he doesn't seem to notice. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. They don't fear him anymore. Hmm. So they said, yeah, they probably set off the security system. I already know that. Can't you live, go live in the We're city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed, and more are always coming. <sighs> Sorry, you can Your stay. Call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said yes. Hush! Uh, you said yes? I was sure you wouldn't. Haggard faces break into smiles, a few of them. Hug we each won't other. Be any trouble, I promise, and and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Okay. What is he doing? Oh, he's just scared. He's just... Why are you scared, boy? Why are you scared? You look scared, boy. Hmm. Soldier's note. Ooh, yes. I would like to hear that. Uh, October 12th, 1998. Six. No. Seven. Months since the bombs fell. Um...
Damn. Every time I close my eyes, I see that kid's face. God forgive me. I can't do this anymore. Damn. But how did he turn off the cassette tape? How did he, uh... How do you do that? Oh, I can customize myself. I, wait. Can I just customize right over it? young man lies twisted on the floor he wears shabby clothes and he's been dead long enough for the body to go cold but not long enough to rot establish a cause of death ah thank you clip the body's a contorted limbs in proximity to an ancient computer seem to suggest a painful death by electrocution hmm This uh, discoloration in the face suggests heart failure, which might be electricity, but there's a lack of burns, which makes that inconclusive. Some dried, foamy spittle, barely detectable at the edges of the mouth, make poison a much more likely culprit. Search the body. This man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and they are tattered and grimy. grimy. His shoes have uh, holes in their soles. In one of his pockets, you find a half-eaten, sweet-smelling mushroom. Leave the body alone. What, uh, what's going on with the dead guy? <laughs> All right. Shut the hell up! Shut the. Fuck up. <laughs> this guy. What's going on with the dead guy? Is he alright? Wait. There's something over there. Lock picking level 5. I hear panting. It's not the. It's not the cat. I hear a dog. I want to know where the dog's at. Okay. I'm not, I'm not getting through any of these. This motherfucker. Waving at you through the bars of the cell is a pale, uh, real thin man with uh, matted hair and fraying faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy hey eye. Hey, dudes. Hi. Hey, dude. Uh, hi. What's up? up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? We're the new landlords. We're in oh, charge wow. now. Wow, hey. <laughs> new uh, landlords. That's cool, man. Cool. I hope taking over's uh, going good for you. What uh, what brought you out here? Uh, we came here from Arizona to help the patient. Arizona. Ari zone. Ah, oh my gosh, this guy's so high. Far, real far. Are there like more of you here? Uh, 
that's not something you need to oh, know. Oh, so not many then, huh? Don't worry, you'll make new friends. Oh, he is. Huh? You, uh, you seem real friendly and nice. So, hey, what, uh... Oh, he is. What? Oh, he, he has that mouth on him. No more questions. How about some answers? Oh yeah, man. Of course. I don't. I. I don't mind. Ask me whatever. This guy's so fucked up. Stop fucking with those mushrooms up there. What's your name? My name? Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Ned. Ned. Harry. Nick. Booger. Dickens. Lyle. You're definitely a booger. Uh, something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. It's been a long time since I thought about that, man. It's been we can a long take time this guy since out. someone uh, asked me about it. I. I couldn't have been here for a while. Why are you in because, there? Because uh, the cell door is locked. <sighs> This motherfucker is playing games with me. <laughs> Sti it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Calm. Calm. Why were you? What happened to that dead refuge? Oh, man, uh, that's uh, some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. Huh. See? <laughs> so you don't remember your name, but you can remember and, this. Yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these, uh, sirens and flashing lights it was horrible man like it made it really hard to sleep you know um so is that and Andy? after a while the alarm stopped and then uh, well you came in why were you put in there man didn't you like my joke oh i'm gonna fuck at this guy okay up. okay like well so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. Splitsies. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man, like seriously. There's a lot of holes to that whole story. As a matter of fact, you didn't tell me a damn thing. Why are you in there again? I told you, man. My partner trapped me in here. Thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh... But he wasn't. How long couldn't have you been there? You, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh... When the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. And they all just left you in there? How have you survived? You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty and uh you know what they say about dark damp spaces man mushroom go there man <laughs> this motherfucker so I added a little self uh self made fertilizer I'm done with this motherfucker Those I'm mushroom growing good I'm <laughs> You've been living off a of wall water and yeah, mushrooms. Man, yeah. Yum yum. 
Oh, I ain't letting this motherfucker out. Oh, yeah, and uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and climby skittery snappers. two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. Oh, he did that in my fucking ear. He did that in my fucking ear. And it's, it's there now. It's stuck. It's a part of me now. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Can you tell us what acres that lived here before? Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him. You know? Kinda. Kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. People don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Ugh. Tell us about the dead guy. Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy, and yeah, then there's, then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, got it. Well, you Tell me about the tired eyes well, lady. She was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Well, keep eating your shit mushrooms. Maybe Hope you'll she figure something die, out. And she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for company, you know. <laughs> I'll never let this guy out. Tell us about the smiling woman. Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. Yeah, I know. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to uh, to say that. That is Patriarch's daughter. The smiling woman is Patriarch's daughter. Patriarch mentioned enslavement, slavery. That's Patriarch's daughter. Definitely. Tired as lady. Don't know too much about. You know, man, it's um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I eat a lot of mushrooms. Uh huh. I can't always remember things that happened in the uh olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was and there was um there was a gentleman bear the lip licker and uh, the bloody screamers and uh, and the metal fellers and the really white guy and the owl uh, the owl face oh and the six wee men and the lion that doesn't make any sense. Except the really white guy and the owl. I, but, I don't uh, know. yeah, hard to remember who came in first and uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Cool. 
We've examined the course and it doesn't appear to have been killed by electrocution. It looks like poison. What? Ah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him? Man, what a, what a wacky world. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Hmm, it's almost like he... We found a half-eaten mushroom in the corpse's pocket. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> well... Oh, we well, just go. Do you want us to let oh, you out? Man, yes, yes, please, very much. Uh, your call on this one, Rangers. But really, I just let nature take its course here. If you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Why did he go to the electrocution thing? Was he trying to stop something? Huh. And there would be no point in poisoning that man. He's just an idiot. You should probably stay here for now. Oh man, just like everybody else. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Easy ass. I had the key right there. That was one interesting piece of bullshit I was dealing with just now. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? I think you found your missing guy. Sorry, Andy. Sorry to say he's dead. <sighs> Andy, damn it! I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he? <laughs> no, I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. You had more to explore at the base. Uh the base than we have. Can you? Uh, can I ask sure. about it? Did you touch any of the equipment in the war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of, well, uh, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. Have you checked the med bay? We stay away from that awful room. Nothing but death in there. Med bay. Death room. Got it. Have you been in the brig? Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I... Well, I... I left him locked up after I met him. I... I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but... Ugh. He just kept asking questions that felt... Off. And what were those glassy questions? glassy eyes. What were those questions? I want to... Okay. What did you find in the armory? Booby traps, mostly. Booby traps. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Oh, there's guns in there. Believe you me. There's guns in there. And I'm gonna need it. Anything we can scavenge in this garage? Uh, no, I already know. What's in the archive? Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. Any 
in the garage? What's in the archive room? We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Fair enough. It's all for now. Careful Thanks. out there. It's an uncaring world. And yet, you still want to stay alive. Interesting. It's got to be an interesting way to think about things, you know what I mean? Hey, things are going crazy, but I still want to live. Maybe there are worse ways than death. Um, I'm going to quick save before I open this damn door. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. Doggo. System. The enemy has armor, which means that it can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all your weapons have a penetration stat. If your weapon's penetrate is equal to or greater than the enemy's armor, your weapon will do, deal full damage. If your weapon's penetration is less than the target's armor, you'll do a proportionate amount of damage, but no more than 80%. Examples, penetration 15 versus armor 10. Uh, equals 100% damage. Penetration 5 versus 10 equals 50%. Penetration 9 versus 10 equals... yeah, got it. Oh, and friendly fire. Gotta remember that. This one will make me more mobile. Hmm. Hmm. Abilities. I can charm animals in a vicinity. Combat where should take him down clean a reliable attack that has 20% hit chance but negative 100% critical chance and 30 33% damage. Allies and enemies. Ooh. 
Ooh. It does have armor, does it? Yes, it does. That's a long... Ooh, no! Yeah, we're changing that. Thank you very much. Dead. Alright. Tomcat if I do this, okay? You're not gonna shoot Mr. Tomcat, are you? You're not gonna shoot him. Thank you. for that. Stop doing that. Um, let's see. No. Don't, don't eat that mushroom. <laughs> don't eat that mushroom. Please don't. Yo. Leave my cat alone. Okay, alright, alright, the poison. Alright, poison, stop. <laughs> Go. Ah, friend in need. You're the best. 
There we go. Ready to continue. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I don't have anything for your poison. I apologize. Wolverine fur, black sludge. Thank you for the black sludge. How long is this poison? We have to find out. About eight seconds. It's almost gone. There it is. Quick save. Fallen billboard. Who put it there? It could be anybody's guess. The power button on the machine resists your press. Seemingly rust, rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure, corruption detected across multiple sectors, initiating automated repair operations. Recovery complete. View uh, recovered logs. Uh, examine personal logs. There are fewer logs than you've expected from for a base of this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that are legible. Personal log from Colonel Fulchett, March 1998. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone, and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep our men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. Nerd stuff, huh? Read old security logs. Filtering tools help you cull the routine and whole cor wholly uh, corrupted reports. You may need a computer expert to access some of the files. Nerd stuff. Classified information purged, initiated. Erase complete, command cleared, fully autonomous, security system activated in T minus 30 minutes. Report 3, intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter, monitoring. Intruders retreated without engagement, monitoring. Hmm. Intrusive mov movement detected on outer perimeter, monitoring. Creature departs, incidents monitored without engagement, incidents involving security or response. These are moments when people have... Yeah, I need the nerd stuff. Step away from the terminal. These are moments when people have broken into this place. So people broke into this place. Okay, let me look around. See if there's more stuff. Ooh, yeah, so kind of you. I can't go up there until this place is cleared out. It's a literal bad idea for me to take that guy out of that uh, prison cell. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's... No. 